in this video we are going to look at how we can test for the presence of proteins and lipids or fats okay so last time we looked at how we can test for reducing sugar and non-reducing sugar so today we are going to look at how we can test for presence of proteins we are going to start with proteins so a uh, test for proteins is also called bullet test okay it is called bullet test owing to the fact that the bullet reagent or bullet solution is the one that is used uh, during the test for uh, proteins procedure so the the solution or the sample need to be in solution form so just like we did when we were looking at when we were testing for presence of reducing sugars and non reducing sugars even here the sample need to be uh, in a solution form or suspension uh, form procedure number two if the solution that has been given is in solid form there is need for us to grind the solution using the apparatus given on the screen okay so just in case you are given the solution in solid form there is need to grind there is need for you to grind the solution and uh, mix it with the distilled water and shake okay so this is procedure number two the next uh, procedure the next procedure we add two cubic centimeters of sample solution into a clean and dry test tube so the test tube needs to be uh, clean and dry to avoid giving uh, giving us wrong results or to so that we can add, uh, avoid making a wrong conclusion then we need to observe and record what happens so uh, the next procedure either add five drops of sodium hydroxide solution to the sample solution followed by a few or two drops of copper two sulfate solution drop by drop shaking and observing after each drop or add an equal volume of violetti um add equal volume of violetti solution so in this case we are going to use a violetti reagent so if we add violetti reagent to the sample if we add violetti reagent the color of violetti reagent is blue so if we add the bulleted reagents to the sample and the sample remain blue then we know that the protein is absent so if we add bulleted reagents to the sample and the sample turns purple then we are going to conclude that the sample that is proteins are present in the sample okay proteins are present in the sample so blue color shows the absence of proteins Purple color or violet color shows the presence of proteins. Shows the presence of proteins. So we have uh, the summarized uh, a setup here showing the the steps involved during the test for uh, for proteins. So we are also going to look at how we can test for. Uh, how we can test for fats or lipids and the test is called emulsion test so shake a small sample a, a drop of sample solution with the two uh, cubic centimeter two uh, uh, absolute uh, sorry two cubic centimeter absolute ethanol in the test tube so this is uh, this is a procedure that we need to follow we need to shake uh, a sample with the uh, two cubic centimeter of alcohol so the ethanol given here is alcohol and we have the summarized setup of emul emulsion here summarized test of emulsion so uh, during a uh, emulsion test we use alcohol we use alcohol we know that when alcohol has been added to to the when alcohol has been added to the sample suspected to to contain 
a dpg or fat c uh emulsion or form okay the emulsion or form or the fats will be digested so uh <coughs> we, here we are saying lipids is insoluble in water however it is it can dissolve in the alcohol so uh uh, lipids are capable lipids are capable of dissolving in lipids are capable of dissolving in alcohol so the the cloud the white cloud emulsion will indicate the presence of uh, lipids so if we, if the white cloud emulsion is not observed then the lipids lipids are absent okay